Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Google Drive on your iPhone. So once you've installed the app, sign into your Google account, it's going to bring you up to an interface like this. Now, if you do have multiple accounts, what's nice is you can, first of all, you could sign into each and every one of them. If you click on your profile picture, you can add another account and you can have them all listed that way. And then all you need to do is just slide your finger across those and it will toggle you through all the different accounts. But if you only have one account, you'll see this sort of look. A little bit about this interface is it's gonna show you all the files that you have on that Google Drive or any of the folders that you have. You can also, this is in a list format. You could toggle that to a sort of tile format so you can see what is all in there and how that's, that's accessed. Now, down below on the very bottom, you have, we're on our home screen now, but you can also go to starred, which is anything that you've highlighted as starred, which we'll talk about here in a minute. You can go to anything that's shared with you. These are from other people's Google Drive that they have shared with you. And then you can go to files, which is everything on your drive versus the home screen is just what's suggested to you. And this is sort of like things that you use most often or some of your recent files, things like that. At any given point, if you can't find a certain file that you're looking for, you can always go up to the search, search for that specific file or type of file, and it'll come up in your search if you know what the name of that is. Typically, I'll open it up into the suggested file, but I usually go over to the files folder just so that I can see everything as I want it to be dis displayed. It's a little bit easier to find it that way, but you could do it however you want. Now in the plus sign, you can hit on that plus sign and you can either upload a file. So if you click on that and you can upload photos from your phone, if you take photos or videos, you can upload it that way, or you can scan a document. So you click on that, it'll access your camera and it'll scan the document directly into there or you can create any number of things. You could create folders to organize docs, sheets, all of that in there. And well, let's talk a little bit about the folders because this is a great way to organize your files. And let's call this important docs. Okay, we'll create that. And it has everything alphabetized. And then if you could drop files into those folders, so let's say I want this one here, you press and hold it and you go up to the important doc and you just drop that in there. And so you can kind of keep everything organized that way. So we also have the option right above that plus sign to do the scan documents from there. So if you take this in, and let's say I have just some notes here, and there you go. And then all you do is you click save, and it took that document and it saved it in there. So now you don't need to have a scanner, you don't need to manually feed all these documents in there, you could just take pictures basically of your documents, and it's all set. Click on upload, and it drops it right into wherever you want, and then you can organize it into the folders as you need to. So that's a little bit about what you can create. Now let's talk about the individual files once they're in here. If you have a file there, you click on the little three dots uh, to the right of that, and you have a couple of different options. You could share that with somebody. So I click on share. I can add an email address or somebody that's part of my group to share that with them, and then that'll show up in their shared file. Or you can manage your access. So you could say, hey, anybody that has this link, can can see it or view it. If we go to restrict it, anyone with the link can now see it. So I could just send out those links that way. Click on those three dots again. This is where I was talking about the starred. So we could add that to as a starred. So now let me just back out of this. Down at the bottom, if you go to starred, that shows up in the start. So you can like star certain like key important documents or or files that you want to access quickly at any given time. You can go into it that way. Click on the three dots again. Make available offline means if you don't have internet access on your phone or you're in Wi-Fi or whatever, you could still access certain documents that'll be downloaded onto your phone. You could download that into your files. Again, same sort of method that way. Copy the link. You could send a copy so it'll actually copy it and send it versus somebody just accessing that link. Or at the very bottom, you could just hit remove and move to trash and it'll delete it. So much like your Google Drive on your computer, you have all that same access with the files directly in there. Now I'll show you something else which is really handy is let's say you're in your photos and you have a picture that you want to put on your Google Drive and you see it, I want this uploaded. You don't need to go to Google Drive and download it in there. You can hit your little share icon down in the bottom and you should have the option there with Google Drive click on that and now it'll ask you where you want that to save my folders 
and you can upload it that way. And then it just takes a few seconds, if depending on the file size, and it'll upload it. Now, one more thing I'll say about the organization is right now, you can see where it says name. It's basically having everything organized in alphabetical order. You can also click on that and change it to date modified or reverse order modified by me. Sometimes I go to date modified because then it's going to organize based on the most recent files that I had interactions with. So it's a little bit easier to find things that way. If you know you did something yesterday on a file or uploaded something yesterday, it'll show up that way. And with that, you're up and running using Google Drive on your iPhone. Well, I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next one.